Have you ever wanted your Halo Reach to go from a drabby, kind of dark gray kind of game to something a little bit more, well, in-depth and vibrant? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again. Today we're doing a different kind of video. We're doing another reshade mod video for Halo Reach. I recently did one of these reshades for Combat Evolved Anniversary and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I wanted to make another one for you guys to enjoy as well. This time for Halo Reach. If you guys like these reshade mod showcase videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Now, Halo Reach has always been a game that's been criticized for its visuals, though a lot of people love the art style of the game, which is much more gritty, a little bit more war-torn kind of art style to it. You know, the Spartans look more beat up, and they just look the art style just looks fantastic. But the problem is that it just looks so drab, colorless, and gray. So what I wanted to do with this reshade is not only just try to improve the visuals, but maintain the same artistic style that they had with Halo Reach, but also enhance it to make it a little bit more visually pleasing and a bit more cinematic. And with this one, I feel like I kind of hit the sweet spot. So in this video, I wanted to showcase some of the interesting areas where this reshade actually makes the game look pretty freaking awesome, as well as what I did to accomplish this, because there were um, probably more layers than I added with these filters than I did with my previous one. This might possibly be some of my best work I've done with reshade. So let's jump into some of the examples here. So here's your normal looking Halo Reach. Kind of drab, not very colorful, nothing really stands out, and it's just all just kind of gray which was kind of the general look of Halo Reach. But actually, Reach is actually a very colorful game with some very dynamic coloring. It just needs to actually be able to stand out. And that's what I did with this filter right here is trying to make it stand out a little bit more and try to maintain the same kind of visual presentation that Reach has, but just give some more clarity to it so people can actually kind of get some more depth of colors and shadows and things like that. So when I open up Reshade here, you kind of see a little bit what I worked on here. So cinematic depth of field, what this does, it just basically just kind of blurs the depth of the game a little bit to kind of give you a simulated, more realistic representation of how the human eye works in this game. Um, and obviously, I know Spartans have like superhuman vision and stuff like that, so technically it might not look like this to an actual Spartan, but as a human playing the game, it's probably what you want to do. I changed up a little bit of vibrance. I added some sharpening to change the textures a little bit to make them really pop out with the detail. If you look at the gloves right here of the Spartan, you can kind of see how it's a little bit more muddy of a texture by turning on the sharpen filter a little bit here. Really makes that stand out as well to kind of give you that better re representation of like those cuts and those scrapes that are on these different armor sets. It really helps it stand out a lot more. I also added in some ambient occlusion here that kind of just gives that depth of an object within the game. Uh, Reach already has a little bit of ambient occlusion as you can kind of see right here, but this really just kind of makes it stand out. So then it kind of darkens some of the areas and also makes these items really pop because I, what I did generally is brighten the brights, darken the darks, and also enhance the coloring a little bit in this game. Talking about coloring, I changed the color palette a little bit of this as well, where I kind of muted all the colors a little bit, kind of map mimic what Halo Reach did. So I, when I turn up these coloring saturations that they don't really stand out as not really matching Halo Reach, but also being able to maintain that same kind of color palette. So I braid out a little bit of the reds and the oranges, the yellows and greens, and it matches something not so vibrant. Here's a pretty big change right here. I added in depth of haze. Again, just kind of adds like a bit of a more of an um, ambience kind of, I don't know, kind of haze to the whole thing. Like there's some kind of like particles in the air that kind of disperse the light in a little bit. I also kind of made it a little bit more of a bluish hue to kind of give it a little bit more of a colder palette to Halo Reach. A big change here is the clarity option added in. It just kind of helps really bring out those bright colors and those dark in the darks a little bit. Same thing along with the levels I changed here as well. This is what levels on, this is what levels off. A massive difference right here. Just that alone really kind of changes the visuals of this game. Uh, interesting thing I, I want to add on is kind of a bit of an artistic value right here. If you can kind of see that the uh, edges of the screen are a little kind of blurred in a way because I added in chromatic abrasion. What this does is it misaligns the red and blue lights to kind of give you much more of a distorted lens effect to it that you would see like in a more cinematic style. So this is with it on, this is with it off. You can see it's much more clear. Obviously, if you don't like this, you can turn it off yourself. But when I turn it on right here, you really kind of get this cool like cinematic kind of lens effect to the whole thing as well. Uh, with ambient lighting as well, I turned that on just to kind of give it a little bit more 
ambiance, I guess you could call it. It also added a little bit of a dirt effect to the screen right here. If you take a look on the edge of the screen, I added a little bit of a dirt. It's really subtle, so it doesn't really bother your eyes too much. But it looks like there's a little bit of a dirt to the screen, just so then you, when you're playing, it feels like you're more looking through an actual visor rather than just like looking through a game on a monitor kind of thing. And then lastly, also added in some sharpening just to kind of, you know, cut, bring out those textures a little bit more, bring out that detail a little bit better. And also the adaptive fog just to kind of give it a little bit more of a hazy kind of atmosphere to the whole thing. I also added in some additional anti-aliasing just so then like your edges are like poles and stuff like this look a little bit more smooth and less jagged. And overall, I think that the product kind of turned out pretty well. Like if I turn this off again, it still kind of feels like this is Halo Reach original, right? When I turn on the filter, I feel like it still captures the same kind of visual presentation that Reach had, but it just makes things stand out a little bit more. Like with this filter off, honestly, like I didn't really even notice that this middle color was green, honestly, when I was originally playing, because uh, I just so everything's so, so gray. When I turn this filter on, I'm like, oh, actually, there is a two tone to this structure as well. So that's what I mean by like having pop, things more stand out, pop out a little bit more with the coloring within Halo Reach. Another mission I feel like this filter really stands out is on the mission Nightfall and Halo Reach. Uh, it never really felt like this mission captured the darkness that's in it. Obviously, it's a bit of like a half moon kind of lit night kind of thing. So you would be kind of dark, but it's actually rather bright and gray. So when I turn on this filter, it really brings in those deeper, darker colors that really kind of add in a deeper shadowing to the effect of different lighting and stuff like that. Add a little bit more of a blue kind of coloring to it because generally Halo Reach actually does have a rather kind of bluish hue to everything, especially when you go onto like Long Night of Solace, when you go out in space, there's a lot of greens and blues and stuff like that in the game where it all gets so muted within the original color palette that it doesn't really stand out. And also in this cutscene, you really get to see the detail of the armor on the Spartan as well. Again, we can take off the filter you can kind of see everything looks kind of flat, doesn't really stand out. Turn on the filter, it still kind of brings in that same feel, deepens the shadows, makes the ambient inclusion of the armor sets really make those sets pop out, make it seem like there's a bit of like an effect on the character themselves. Take a quick look right here. Uh, we turn this off and then we turn it back on. Take a look at the armor set underneath this arm. The ambient inclusion really makes that armor pop and that texturing really stands out with the extra sharpening I added on here. Again, here we are in game. Again, this, everything just seems kind of gray and really bright for some reason. Like, look how bright that phantom is. Like it's super bright. Turn this filter on, really kind of adds in those darkness. The shadows really stand out. Also enhances that blue coloring that you would probably have for more of a nighttime feel. Another thing this filter does is actually helps out a lot when it comes to the texture filtering that Reach does in this game. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, essentially what Bungie did is that they tried to increase the texturing. Obviously they can only have the high texture range. It's so far away, which it was really noticeable in this game. And so what this filter does when I turn this off, you might be able to see right next to my crosser to the right, how kind of this weird filtering effect happens with the textures right here. And when I zoom in, obviously it goes to the much more high res. It doesn't really look that bad. When I look low res, it really kind of breaks that immersion of the game, really. Uh, again, this might not come up through the video so well, but it definitely comes through in the gameplay. When I turn on this filter, it kind of helps blur those edges a little bit as they are further away. So it kind of gives you that depth of field so that the texturing isn't so detailed and doesn't really come off as so ugly looking. And of course, when I zoom in, you could look at it looks totally fine right there. And also went far away, it looks a lot better. So that's actually one benefit to this game is that, well, it kind of helps out with that weird texture filtering that Reach does. So then it doesn't break your immersion so much. So from these examples, you can kind of see where I was getting at, where I wanted to kind of just enhance the coloring a little bit, tone down the contrast a little bit, to deepen those shadows a little bit, bring out, make things just pop a little bit more, kind of give like an HDR look to Halo Reach, improving the sharpening to make those textures really pop out, add a little bit of a depth of field and chromatic abrasion to kind of give a much more cinematic style to the whole thing. And I think it turned out rather well. Now I could spend all day showcasing the entire game with this reshade on, and this would be like an hour long video, but I want to have you experience this as well. So if you guys want to check out, link in the description down below to Nexus Mods, which will give you a link to download this file. So if you guys want to see more remastering kind of videos like this, make sure you tap that like button, leave a comment down below what game you would like to see next. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.